Hey everyone, um, I scheduled this video and I thought that Facebook would just start the video live, but that didn't happen. So uh, yeah, hopefully you're not connected on the post that I put up and scheduled. Um, I am here live now and we are going to bake apple hemp muffins and I'm going to share some more vegan food goodies. So. Um, we are, yeah, okay, good. Um, guys, if you're just joining in, can you let me know if the original post, if you saw the original post about this scheduled um, cooking video and if anything happened with it? I scheduled the live event and then nothing happened. Um, so then I just started a new video. So if you saw that, can you let me know if you got a notice and if it was supposed to go live or anything like that? Anyways, we're here now and we're gonna bake some apple hemp muffins and then we're gonna get right into some more vegan food finds. So um, yeah, a lot of you already know this recipe. I originally did this recipe for my Vive La Vegan cookbook years, years ago. And then I redid them oil-free and a little bit different, a little more spice in plant part families. And there they are, apple hemp muffins. The link for the recipe is on in the description field. And I tried to include as many links for the products that we're gonna be showing today as well. Um, here goes my computer heating up on me. Uh, these muffins are really easy. And I started using hemp seeds like way back, so I wrote Vive La Vegan in, it came out in 2004, I think. And yeah, so I was already testing with hemp seeds back in 2001, too, when they first came out in the market. And it was a real crunchy, crunchy thing to use hemp seeds then. They were like, whoa, really fringe. And everyone thought that they were like uh, marijuana, of course. And did they have the active compound? And no, they don't. They're the food and they're full of essential fatty acids. They have uh, protein and lots of nutrients but the flavor of hemp seeds is like not very exciting for most of us right they taste a little bit grassy I'm gonna oh I have them here so this is if you aren't familiar with hemp seeds this is what they look like and they they're very soft they're not crunchy they're not a seed like a pumpkin seed they're very soft and they have just a tiny crunch. But they have, like, if you use a little bit of them, they taste kind of nutty and, and sweet. But if you use a lot in a recipe, it can be really a strong sort of grassy flavor. So these I'm using in this recipe. And what's interesting is you don't really taste the flavor too much. Uh, they just help make the muffins really moist. And that's why I think people love this recipe is that they're in there you know it's in there, you're eating them, they're good, but you don't really taste the flavor of hemp too much. Uh, I think if you have had hemp seed oil, you'll really notice the flavor. And I've had some people ask me about crunchy hemp seeds. And what they mean is that they have somehow still found hemp seeds that are in the shell. I don't know how that exists out in the market now because who's buying those hemp seeds that are in the actual hard casing? I don't know. They should be shelled hemp seeds. I've had people put them, unfortunately, in the recipe with the hard casing, the shell, and they're like, oh, the muffins are kind of crunchy. And I'm like, oh no. So always look for the shelled hemp seeds, but truthfully, most hemp seeds now that you'll find on the market are like this. Um, there's a lot of popular brands. Locally, I find the best price for hemp seeds is the Real Canadian Superstore, which is Loblaws in parts of Canada. And they have their own brand, the, um, I guess it's President's Choice brand, and that's a good brand of hemp seeds. I don't buy organic hemp seeds because they're not, my knowledge is they're not sprayed, so I just buy regular hemp seeds. I have measured out the flowers and everything here just to kind of expedite the process because I want to get these in the oven. Um, oh, guys, I've asked a question in the, um, in the description or in the video. At least I tried to. Oh, yeah, but that didn't go live properly. Okay, so I wanted to ask you guys, first chime in, say hello if you're out there. 
And I wanted to ask you, what is your very favorite healthy like muffin to bake or a baked good, vegan baked good that you really love and it's full of good stuff? What's your favorite one? It doesn't have to be one of mine. I just want to know what you really love out there. And then another question I wanted to ask you is, Coming up in another video, I'm thinking about doing my homemade applesauce, which I do in the Instant Pot, or I also do it stovetop. I do two versions. Would you like to do that next, or something else like a savory dish? I might do my creamy artichoke dip, or I might do uh, my sweet potato. That's not savory. Sweet potato chocolate pudding. So what would you like to see coming up? I'm not hearing from anybody yet. Come on, guys. Chime in. Let me know you're alive. Let me know you're out there and tell me what your favorite baked good is and what recipe you might like next. Okay, so we're gonna get going. And this is a cup of oat flour, the recipe's in the link, and one and a half cups of spelt flour. I didn't have spelt flour. I used whole wheat pastry flour and just used a little bit less. Um, and speaking of the apple hemp muffins, I don't put chunks of apple in them, but today I might because I got these local organic apples today and oh my gosh they are absolutely beautiful look at those apples they're organic gallus and they were on sale for $1.98 a pound of choices if anyone's local BC and I mean they are just I love apple season I don't really love the shift into fall but I love apples Sherry says cinnamon scones yeah that sounds pretty darn good do you make them yourself um, I have a Cinnabon recipe. It's like my take on cinna cinnamon rolls, even though I've never had them, but they're super cinnamony and they're like little muffins. I should make those sometimes. So I might actually put some of this in here today because what I use in the recipe is applesauce. I've already put the baking powder in and the baking soda and I have the spices measured, which is cinnamon, a little bit of cardamom. I talked about cardamom the other day and I added a little bit of ground nutmeg today. If you can buy that whole nutmeg and grate it, it has better flavor. All right, so mixing that together. And then our wet ingredients, and we're gonna add our hemp seeds. And the hemp seeds I have called for two thirds of a cup to three quarter cups. So ultimately that's like, it's up to you. If you're not too sure how much you're gonna love the flavor of hemp seeds, go with two thirds a cup. If you know you like them, throw in the full three quarter cup. It also means you don't have to fuss with the measure too much, right? Like you don't have to say, it's exactly a half cup. You can just be like, check, okay, looks good, done. Which is kind of how I measure at home. Oh, and Sherry's saying from forks over knives. Awesome. Um, that sounds really good. You can certainly post the recipe link, Sherry, if you have it. If you're just joining guys, tell me what favorite healthy muffin or baked good recipe, like what's one of your favorite recipes to make? And um, yeah, if you have the link, link to it. It doesn't have to be one of my recipes. Um, and what would you like to see in upcoming videos? I'm thinking about doing my Instant Pot applesauce because I have all these gorgeous apples. I made some the other day and I used pears in it as well. Mm, it's really good. And it has, yeah, that's my homemade applesauce. And it has pears, so it's actually a little thinner than it normally is. I like a really thick applesauce, so um, this is a little thinner than it normally is. I had some, our neighbor has a pear tree, and he had a big bin of pears outside his house. We were like, yes, <laughs> of course we'll take them. I'm just noticing I have a hair dangling off my wristband, so I have to get rid of that. Too big. All right, so we're mixing in the hemp seeds. I mean, know how you're doing today, guys. We still have this smoke from the West Coast and it's supposed to shift away today. And I initially had black on and I was like, nah, every time it's gray out, I wanna wear black. Why is that, right? Like charcoal or black. I, I just kind of default wearing charcoal and black and I said, nope, I'm gonna brighten it up and wear some white and brighten myself up instead of looking at the gray. It works, to me it works. I don't know, you guys, if, if you have that experience. We have a half cup of maple syrup, which I have already measured, and I also put the vanilla in there, and it's one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And what else we got? We've got three quarters of a cup of milk. I've got to run and get that. 
I'm using oat milk here. Another good milk to use, I think, would be um, an organic soy milk. You can really use any milk in baking. These are nut-free, so I kind of opt for nut-free milks when I'm doing a nut-free recipe. That way I know that if they're going to school, then they're fully nut-free. And people ask me about nut-free foods all the time for baking or for packing lunches because all of the most kids in school, there's almost in every class, there's a nut allergy, just about. And our kids went through elementary four, well, all of Charlotte's years and then Bridget's years, and now Hope is in grade six. I'm not doing the math on that. Let's just say a good like 15 years of not ever being able to send nuts to school. So I never ever packed like an almond butter sandwich or peanut, I never packed peanut butter, but I always had to be mindful of what I was sending that had cashews or almonds or whatever. So that just got into the habit of making things not free. So you'll see that that's why I make a lot of muffins not free and it's just become habit because I know that that's what a lot of kids need in school. And we're baking muffins at home. Usually they're going to school or work or something like that. And now we're adding a cup of applesauce. So when I bake oil free, I don't always use applesauce. I think it becomes like the default. Oh, just put applesauce in something. I'm, I'm using some of these little cups. Normally I have a jar, but I'm using some of these organic cups because my homemade stuff tastes so good. I don't want to use it all in the, <laughs> in the recipe but I will top up because I'm not getting a full cup here, then I'll just top it up with my homemade applesauce instead of opening another container. But my daughter, eldest, Charlotte, she loves having the applesauce with oatmeal and she's loving it right now. So that's my applesauce. Uh, what was I saying? I just went off on a tangent and I forgot what I was saying. Somebody remind me what I was talking about, please. No idea. Um, and I think I will add a little chopped apple to these because it looks real, they just look so good. Now, if you wanted to chop the apples in advance, then chop them and um, sprinkle with a little bit of lemon juice and they won't go uh, brown as quickly. But galas don't oxidize very quickly. They're a nice apple. Look how nice, it's so nice and crisp. So. Um, I don't have a cutting board here. I'm just winging this guy. I'm just going to chop it up and add a few little chunks. What are you guys baking today? Are you making anything? Are you baking along? What's going on out there? And... This is really rustic as you can see and I'm going to throw in some raisins as well. If you don't love raisins, don't add them. I mean, I know everyone doesn't love raisins, but they're really nice in this with the cinnamon. It's kind of like the profile of spices goes really nice with them. all my cupboards so like you come into my kitchen and every cupboard's open everywhere it's ridiculous and all my cupboards to my cups and all my cupboards to my baking ingredients hygiene and still not hearing from a lot of people about and I am just going to my old post and deleting it because I feel like it's messing up this video hang tight with me So um, I've got the raisins mixed in, and this is the consistency of the batter, see? And it bakes up so nicely. I'm actually feeling like I want a little more cinnamon in there. I can smell it, and oh, that's onion flakes. We don't want that. Don't want onion flakes in there. And then I have my baking pan. Hang tight, guys. Ollie. 
every time I do a video, the dog barks. And sorry I had to jut out there, but he barks at everything that walks by the house. I'm talking a mom with a baby in a stroller. Doesn't matter if it's a dog. It doesn't have to be a dog. It can be anything. So, so I'm using the mini muffin liners again today, and I talked about these the other day. These are the parchment. I should put this in the link after the parchment muffin liners. And I'm using the mini because my store does not have any of the regular ones. I don't know why. I haven't been able to find them anywhere. But this is great because the mini muffins are kind of nice, like a little bite snack whenever you want. And the muffins will not stick to these. And hi, Anne. And Anne, I recognize from posts before, she said, just tuning in. Not sure if you use Spellflower, but it says it uses Spell. Can you say why? Yes, it's a great question why I use Spell. So I, in this recipe today, did use whole wheat pastry, Anne, and I just used a little bit less than the one and a half cups. And the reason I started using spelt flour uh, is because years when I started writing, it was Vive La Vie, and I started using spelt note flours. And I had a lot of people asking me for wheat-free recipes, and I know spelt is not gluten-free and I know it's a relative to wheat but a lot of people with wheat sensitivities can use spelt flour so that's why I started using it and it was really just kind of to experiment with it because a lot of people were asking for wheat-free recipes at the time and I wanted to kind of expand my own horizons with baking and cooking anyhow and when I started using it I just really liked it I found the flavor, I mean flowers generally have a neutral flavor, right? But I found that spelt flour tasted a little more, what's the word, a little fresher. Uh, sometimes with wheat flour you can almost taste, I don't know if sometimes the flour is a little old, that might be why, but it doesn't taste as fresh. And you can buy flowers that have gone rancid too you pick up seeds or, or nuts or flowers and you smell them and they have an old kind of oily smell. And I think you guys will know what I mean if you've ever smelled it. I'm just evening out this cup. I do this sometimes. Pick it up from another one <laughs> and make up for it in, a, in another little guy. So if you've ever had that experience where you smell it and you're like, oh, it smells like an off oil. That means the nuts or flour or seeds have gone rancid. I'm gonna pop these in the oven and they'll probably take about 15, 16 minutes. Whoops, save that little guy. Normally I make them bigger, but this is a nice, this is really nice for snacking and lunches. So yeah, so that's why and I started using it and people enjoyed it so I keep making it with it. But I do try to tell people what the option is if you're using whole wheat pastry flour or whole wheat flour. Whole wheat flour is a lot heavier for baking. Whole wheat pastry flour is a lighter texture. If you only have whole wheat flour, you can sift it yourself and you put it in the sifter and catch all the real heavy grainy bits and then use the sifted flour for your recipe. And that's for if you want to make something like a cake and you want, don't want to have as much of a heavy uh, flour fiber content in there. I have to pop my homemade applesauce back in the fridge. And then we're going to talk about yummy vegan food finds. Oh, and Anne asks, wondered if it's a close one to one substitute for all purpose. Okay, so I'd say that all purpose is much like whole wheat pastry in the sense that when I use all purpose and I measure a cup, if I then use, if I want to substitute spelt for that, I'll use a little bit more. I usually use like an extra two to three tablespoons. For some reason, it seems that wheat flour and especially all purpose, it's denser. It's, so if you think about it being a finer, finer, finer flour too. So all purpose is really light, but it's also quite fine. So it's gonna fill the cup up a lot more densely. 
So when I use spelt flour, it's like it's, um, well, it's not as dense. So I need a couple of extra tablespoons to make up that difference. If that computes makes sense. I mean, it makes sense in my head, but I don't know how I'm explaining that. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna share the yummy vegan food finds now. And I asked a question to you guys. Please chime in what your favorite baked good is and also what you might like to see in an upcoming video. I'm thinking my applesauce, I'm thinking my creamy artichoke spinach dip, I'm thinking my nut-free queso, chocolate sweet potato pudding, um, all kinds of goodies to choose from. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and pop back. And I brought a chair so I could sit down and talk about all the good things. You're welcome, Anne, happy to answer. I get that question a lot and I answer it, like I talk about it in my books, but uh, often like people connect with a recipe and they don't have all the details that are in the pantry section of my book and so they don't understand the, the exchange of flowers right okay so while they're baking and it's gonna be about 15 minutes we're gonna talk about yummy vegan food finds and I have some good ones today okay. I'm gonna move the computer and hope Facebook doesn't freak out at me for doing so gave me a message the other day like don't touch it okay so first one is so I have a lot of people ask me about oil-free tortilla chips and in Canada nothing exists I have never found them so if you have found them in Canada tell me I'm pretty sure there's a brand in the States but again I'd like to know from you guys because I'm not there and I don't know the availability quite as easily. I can search online, but it's it's a little hard to find it. I think it might be the Engine 2 Diet has oil-free ones. Um, and we do eat tortillas from time to time. My husband loves them. The kids love them. I have noticed that the more I'm eating and cooking oil-free, I like them, but I don't want too many of them. Right? It's like a few are nice and then I'm okay, I don't need too many. But what I found, and I wasn't looking for oil-free tortillas, I just saw these little crackers and I was like, ah, these, these look interesting. So these are, uh, the brand is Sanissimo. Yeah, I said that really cool, didn't I? Sanissimo, I think that's it. And I did put the link there for if you're in Canada and if you're in the States. I did put the Amazon link there. I buy these locally at Nature's Fair. I haven't seen them at Choices and I haven't seen them anywhere else. They come in little packets inside inside the box, which is nice. There's like I think there's three crackers in here. And so it keeps them fresh. I would love to see this in a, a package that's not individually wrapped, like a family size, so that if you're having something and you could just take them out and not open all these little packages, right? So the first time I tried these, I thought, mmm, they're a bit bland. They're just corn and, sorry, I gotta get my readers. They have whole grain corn flour, salt, and hydrated lime. And that's it. So corn, water, and a little bit of lime. Um, or sorry, corn salt and a little bit of lime. And they're not super salty. So the, like I said, I opened them and I tried them and I was like, oh, these are kind of bland, but it's almost the beauty of them. And I was talking to the checkout gal about this one day where I was, I was at Nature's Fair and she's like, oh, these are so good. And I said, I know, I said, they're so simple. And it's almost that they are so simple is what makes them so good. So here they are, really crispy. You can taste the corn. Okay, so when you have tortillas, let me chew this first. When you have tortillas, you usually taste the salt, right? And the chip factor, you don't taste the corn. And when you have corn tortillas that you might put in, say, enchiladas, you can taste the corn. I, if, does anyone know what I'm talking about? Do you relate to that? You don't really taste the actual corn in tortilla chips? But if you have a corn tortilla, you can taste the corn. So that's what you can taste in these. 
I and mean, then they have that little bit of salt. I and mean, it's not a lot, but it's so good. So if you're having guacamole or salsa, which is already heavily seasoned, right? You've got a lot of um, and salsa, you've got a lot of spices, you've got um, peppers and lime juice and then guacamole, you've got the lemon juice or lime juice, cilantro. So you've got a lot of seasonings going on there. This to me doesn't need to be seasoned when you're dipping. This is like perfect. Um, my youngest, Hope, loves these. And again, I think we all tried them went, hmm, oh, it's interesting, but then you want more of them. It's, it's one of those funky things. And I think because tortilla chips are generally so seasoned, um, and some of them are very, not just salty, but you might buy a seasoned variety and they're really garlicky and heavily spiced that you eat a couple and it's just, ugh, it's too much. That's why we love these. They're really, really simple. So I'm not going to eat too much on the camera because I can't talk. Um, and then here is another, these are not completely oil free, but these are really nice snacky cracker. And I sent some of these to my mom in Newfoundland. Um, I think I sent her a couple of packages, one during lockdown and then another uh, more recently. So the brand is called Craze. And these, I put the Amazon link there for you guys. I think I found it. I think I found it in the States, not in Canada. But in Canada, you can get these at Vegan Supply. Okay, so vegansupply.ca. And also, I found them at Choices. And there's a whole bunch of different varieties. These are just a couple. Like this one is seeded, and this one is roasted. There's a plantain. Um, there's a sweet corn, and they're like a little bit sweeter in flavor. And I'm just going to open these up and show you what they look like. They're really, really crisp and thin. They almost look like a flattened Pringle. That's my, my uh, comparison. Can you see that? See how thin they are? They're not greasy. There's a little bit of oil in them, but they're not greasy at all. And these are really nice to have with anything, really. I mean, put bananas on them. They're a nice snack in the evening. Um, I put often put nut butter and bananas on it for Hope, and especially if she's had like a swim and she needs a good snack, and I'm trying to get some nut butters and things like that in her, and I'll layer those up. My mom loved these, loved, loved, loved these. Anyone who likes a chip, likes a crunch, I'm a sweet person, so I like mm, chocolate and ice cream and that kind of thing. But I do like these a lot, and they're not salty. There's a couple of sweet ones, and but they kind of have a more, again, like a bit of a neutral flavor. These are the roasted ones. They're not sweet. These are not sweet. So you could have them with a vegan nut cheese or something like that. And then these ones have seeds in them. I like the plain ones better. The seed ones are good too. It's just my preference. I like the plain ones. Can you see that? I really got to figure out this camera thing. I keep going the opposite direction. There we are. So that's craze. And again, go to vegansupply.ca if you're in Canada. And I put the link in Amazon down there. Okay. This next one... I picked these up at Winners the other day in Canada. So in Canada, we have Winners Home Sense. It's probably a bit like, uh, in the States, what would it be compared to? Uh, Target, maybe? Except it carries a lot of brand names and then sells them as food and, and you know, clothing. Maybe TJ Maxx, would that be it? I don't know. Someone in the States tell me what that might be. Like brand name clothing and food items and furniture and that kind of thing. So these are called shrooms <laughs> and they are a portobello jerky. They also have shiitake and another variety of mushroom, I think. I am not, I've never been someone who likes jerky, mm -mm. but I like using these in a salad, like a Caesar salad. And I've tried the, some of the soy versions. What's one of them? Noble jerky. I mean, it's pretty good if you like jerky. Uh, but these are nice. They're mushroom based and there's also no oil in these, which I was kind of surprised. I thought there would be, but they're very salty. So you don't need a lot. So they have mushrooms and brown sugar and then soy sauce, vinegar, paprika, um, natural hickory smoke. Yeah. And then spices. And so there's no added oils in these at all, which is kind of neat. They open on the side, which is throwing me off. Uh, and these were $5.99 at Winners. 
so here's the you can see the mushroom right you can you could do this at home i've done this kind of thing with portobello's at home but it's nice to have some shortcuts you can see that they're a little chewy but they're not super chewy they're more yeah dehydrated mushroom essentially you see that guys and uh yeah, really hickory smoke. So I used these in a Caesar the other night, one of my homemade Caesars, and they're really good. And sometimes I put the jerkies in there and the family's like, oh, what's that? But they taste uh, really, really nice. Next one I have to wash my hands for because I don't want my fingers to smell like jerky when I touch my precious chocolate. My lovely chocolate. Okay, so I found these the other day, not the other day, last week maybe, at, again, Vegan Supply. And I put the Vegan Supply link in my description for the video but I also found them on Amazon I think it's a box of 12 on Amazon you'll have to check the link so if you love a chocolate snack bar or something like a protein bar but a lot of protein bars are pretty gross right if you try some of the vegan protein bars they're sometimes have a gross taste they're too sweet a whole lot of weird stuff going on these are amazing it is called midday and I'm not getting paid for any of this, guys. Straight out, no one has paid me to talk about these products. I put the links there. I actually did reach out to Midday. I'm hoping to get a link for you guys, like a discount link, and share it so you guys can buy these with maybe 10 or 20% off. I'm, I've reached out to them. I haven't heard from them. Come on, Midday. <laughs> get in touch with me. These are really amazing. First off, they're pretty, like, nice, hefty size for a snack bar and they're really chocolatey they come in three flavors there's a peanut butter chocolate one um, an almond chocolate and this is the fudge yeah i think it is yeah fudge yeah oh god me and this camera fudge yeah so i tried all three this is the first one i tried and i really liked it and then i tried the other two and i like them this is still my favorite if you love peanut butter i'm not a huge peanut butter lover I'd much prefer cashew butter or almond butter to peanut butter. But if you love peanut butter, try the peanut butter uh, version. It's in an orange package. It tastes like a not sweet Reese's cup, right? So it tastes like the peanut butter part of the Reese's cup is just not super sweet. And it's this really nice thick layer of chocolate on top. Mm -mm -mm, really good. And um, I've opened it already so I could show you. So there's two big squares in here. Mm. okay here we go two nice squares in there and they're i mean they're not cheap it's three something for a package but if you want a nice quality snack bar and they're really satisfying and you could even eat one and be happy i think <laughs> i think you could eat one and be happy uh don't quote me on that or don't make me promise that um but I'm gonna crack it and you can see, look how nice this, okay, I gotta get it right at the camera. Slow-mo, look at that nice thick piece of chocolate on top and it is dark chocolate, like true good dark chocolate. It tastes amazing. I'm gonna have some, it's so good. I already had a little bit this morning. See that? So it's got a chewy, chewy bottom and then that thick layer of chocolate on the top, which is, uh, uh, uh. Mm -mm. Mm. that's really really good guys i want you guys to experience it <laughs> so midday squares i'm going to tag you on this and hopefully you will help us be able to order these in a case for a discount please i ordered a case of these actually i've picked up a case from vegan supply and I got 10% off for the case. So that's a box of 12. So if you contact Vegan Supply in Canada and you want to actually they ship worldwide, but you're probably going to pay a lot in shipping outside of Canada, right? I don't know. Maybe you won't. If you look into that, you can get a case for, um, I want to keep eating it, but it's really hard to eat on the screen. So, and the ingredients. Because a lot of times these um, bars have a lot of like filler ingredients and weird stuff. These have, I'm reading French first. 
No, I'm not going to try to read French. Re it says real chocolate. Cocoa butter, cocoa powder, coconut sugar, pink salt. So the chocolate is, like I said, it's really dense and dark. Uh, Yacon syrup, pumpkin seeds, cacao powder, hemp protein powder, pure maple syrup, cocoa butter, sacha inchi powder. Sacha inchi is a type of seed that was out for a while and it was it's a nut free kind of thing that looks like a nut um and i know vega was selling something with sacha inchi for a while but then they just disappeared i think they weren't selling many of them but it's a seed that kind of acts or looks like a nut pit of dates maca powder pink salt and ingredients are certified organic so you are paying for the quality of what's in here right it's a really nice um, bar and it has for people who want to know the protein in there I don't really care I'm not like looking for how many grams of protein I'm getting in a day mm -mm. no we get lots of protein guys eat your beans and greens and everything else whole grains whole veg and you don't need to count your protein but they do have six grams per one square so not the whole thing but one square so if you eat two of them then it's 12 grams of protein Okay, so I've talked enough about that. I've got to check the muffins now and show you what we got here. Okay, hang on. I need my oat glove. I still use my oat gloves that I've had for, I don't know, 15 years or something. I love it because it's got fingers. It's so easy to use, right? And it's, I wash them. They look pretty pretty sad and raggedy but they do the trick yep they are nice they're nice I actually need another minute one minute give those another minute so because they were a little bit full um i if i filled up the full pan of the mini muffins i probably would have been okay at 16 17 minutes but a couple of them were just a little bit too full so i'm giving them another minute in there and just double checking that I don't have any other products to talk about. I don't think so. And those were the main ones. So try them out. If you're just joining the Senesimo crackers, the Craze crackers, the shrooms, and the real midday real snack bars. This is fudgy. Yeah. And with the exception of the craze, which has a little bit of oil, everything in there, everything else was just didn't have added oils. It has whole foods. I mean, I cook oil free and bake oil free, but we will buy some products with added oils um, for convenience, right? And for the kids. And there are the muffins. They look nice, right? They smell amazing. These always bake up nicely. It surprises me every time because the ingredients are so simple. There's not even any like lemon juice to make a buttermilk sort of thing with the milk or any complicated process. It's just the flowers, the applesauce, the hemp seeds, spices, boom, into the oven and you get these beautiful, nice baked up, tender apple hemp muffins. I hope you try them guys and um, yeah, let me know what you think if you try them and let me know if any of those products are of special interest and I'll try to reach out to the companies and see if we can hook up a discount deal or something. That would be nice. Hi Kimberly, she's saying she made the chocolate orange muffins. Thank you and they were a hit. And ah, and she said her daughter who doesn't like banana loved them and didn't know it was in there. That's from, that recipe is in Plant Part Families as well. Right here, double chocolate banana muffins or orange. Yeah, double chocolate orange banana muffins. I forget my recipe name sometimes. So that one's from Plant Part Families, but it's not on my blog. This recipe is on the blog and I put it in the description link so you can go make some. And I'm signing off. Have a good day. Go big. Go have a vegan treat. Talk soon.